usual places. And I promised this last week, I'm a little bit overdue, but this is going to be another of the Freedom Smoke USA reviews from some of the juices I picked up back when they ran their new customer special. So in the past, um, the, the first one I did uh, from the juices that I actually ordered from Freedom Smoke USA was the Newport, which uh, I've cut down my use of a little bit. Not to say it's a bad juice, just kind of save the menthol for a rainy day. Uh, and then in the past, I did review their Hypnotic Mist. Today, we are going to look at their green tea. This is 24 milligram, and it's 20 PG, 80 VG. Now, just like the uh, Newport, this one has discolored just a little bit uh, as it's aged. It hasn't affected uh, the taste or anything. Um, you know, obviously, the taste needed to steep a little bit. So I've had this for pretty close to a month, I want to say. Three weeks to a month, somewhere in there. But it was pretty much uh, just absolutely clear, transparent when I got it. It's yellowed a little bit, but it hasn't affected anything. So today we will look at it on the Silver Bullet 3.7 volt 18650, fully charged up here, and I'm rocking the Cisco Low Resistance 510 atomizer. Also, <laughs> pretty much my favorite atomizer in the world at this point. And we'll also look at it here uh, on the 5 volt resisted GLV2 with the gooseneck. Why not? What the hell? So, as is custom, we'll start with the lower voltage here, and we'll get a drip. Bloop. Let's see how she does. <laughs> ah. So this stuff really vapes pretty nicely. Um, you know, it's definitely, it is 80% VG, and you can tell that. In terms of vapor, this one, uh, not quite a 5, but real darn close. Like, it, we might as well call it a 5, because it does vape that well here. So, let's flop over to the 5-volt GLV-2. It is a lot of vapor. Yeah, and this stuff vapes real great. I do have to go ahead and give it um, about a 5 on both counts. I mean, 475 if you want to knock it off a quarter of a point. It's not 100% VG, but it does vape quite nicely, I must say. Next, let's talk about the flavor. So first we'll go back to the Silver Bullet with the Cisco 510 low resistance. It's got a real nice, subtle, um, kind of lemony flavor on the inhale. But on the exhale, it's just a nice, smooth, kind of, you know, green tea flavor. It's not a terribly strong flavor. I'd like it a little bit stronger. The only other green tea that I've tried in the past was very perfumey, and it's from a vendor that I um, really don't recommend to anyone. Uh, it was one of the first juice orders I put in, so this is really nice in comparison to the other green tea that I've tried in the past, but it's not an incredibly flavorful juice in and of itself. So let's see how it holds up here at 5 volts. A little bit sweeter on the exhale, or I'm sorry, uh, a little bit sweeter on the inhale. On the exhale, though, it is still that same kind of just subtle, not terribly flavorful uh, green tea flavor, and it, it's nice. It's refreshing. It's a nice change of pace kind of juice, getting away from tobaccos, dessert flavors, um, you know, that, I, that I'm normally vaping, fruit flavors, whatever they might be. So it's kind of a nice change of pace. Uh, doesn't have a ton of flavor. So overall, between the two of them on flavor, I've got to give it somewhere around. Um, a two. Uh, if it had a little bit more flavor, it would probably score higher in my eyes, but there's just not a ton of flavor here. Not to say that you can't taste it, I would just personally like more flavor, especially since this is such um, kind of a subtle, subdued green tea flavor to begin with. Last thing, let's look at throat hit. Again, this is 24 milligrams, 20 PG, 80 BG. Not a lot of throat hit here on the 3.7 volt silver bullet with the Cisco 510. 
and really next to no throat hit here on the 5 volt GLB2. I mean, you can see I took a, a fairly long 5 volt drag, I would say, and I got pretty much no throat hit. So, I mean, I'll give it a one. There is just the tiniest bit if you really take a long drag, but other than that, you might find yourself a bit disappointed in the throat hit category. So, overall, this is, uh, you know, a middle to the road, you know, kind of middle of the pack juice at its best. Uh, but for what it is, which is a green tea flavor, just kind of a, a refreshing change of pace, it's not bad in and of itself. Um, would I go out and pick up more than uh, this 10 mil bottle of this? No, absolutely not. Um, and, you know, this 10 mil bottle, I vaped quite a bit of it just because I've been vaping it uh, primarily on at 5 volts. Just when I'm really not paying tons of attention because it's not a terribly flavorful juice. But it is enough, you know, in the it, the rest of the categories to know that I'm vaping something. So it's not terrible. It's not great. It's just kind of average. That's what I've got for you. Again, this is the green tea from Freedom Smoke USA, 24 milligram, 20 PG, 80 VG. Uh, I do have another Freedom Smoke, uh, maybe two Freedom Smoke juice reviews to bring out here very shortly. And I apologize for the delay between the reviews. I know I said I was going to try and get them all together, but we'll get them to you that much. Thank you. Thank you.